welcome children to the video lectures of social science standard 9th this is the fourth video lecture of chapter number 4 national movements of india in the previous video lecture we saw about lokmanya tilak and how different associations and groups were formed into different part of india to fight against the britishers we saw how newspapers were taken as an aid to spread the ideas of revolution okay how to enroll the youth into this national activities we also saw about the movements that were carried out like the alipur massacre the kakori loot case and other in which lot of revolutionary lost their lives at the same time they gave an example to the youth of india that without shedding of the <coughs> blood freedom cannot be achieved we also saw about the fierce revolutionary movements in gujarat <coughs> see okay we in that we saw about how arvindo ghosh who came to india uh, gujarat and later on met with chotu bai purani and ammu bai purani in doing all kind of revolutionary activities in gujarat okay then we saw about the different kind of books that were published at that time which were named very different from the content it had actually it had the idea of how the revolt can be carried out how the bombs will be made weapons will be run all other things but the names were very different from it and they were published into the regional language so that the britisher won't understand anything today we will study about the revolt movements in foreign countries now a same way like the revolt movements were carried out in india the revolutionary movements were also carried out in different part of the world by the indians who were living in there so we'll start understanding this particular topic <coughs> revolutionary movements in foreign countries the revolutionary movement began in foreign countries also say for giving freedom to india from the british the revolutionary activities that began in india spread to different countries like england canada america germany france myanmar malay singapore afghanistan and russia so slowly this movements which were uh, exclusively limited to india now they were carried out into different part of the world also okay the activities revolutionary which took place in revolutionary activity in foreign countries are say who were the main leaders at that time then shamji krishna verma madan lal dhingra veer savarkar the name okay lala lachpat rai lala hardial udham singh raja mahendra pratap madam bika ji kama sardar singh rana molana abdullah molana bashir champak raman pillai dr mathur si this were some of the leaders there were other also but this were some of the main leaders who were included in the activities that were carried out in different parts of the world and they used to collect funds they used to uh, send weapons they used to aware people indians living in other part of the world about the revolutionary activity that were going on in india at that time the revolutionary activities in foreign countries gave impetus it gave a great boost okay pistols were being secretly sent to india the weapons were sent from england along with the beddings of the cook how they were hidden they were had hidden into the pillows they were hidden into the mattresses that were brought by the cooks at that time now at that time the major uh, way of coming to india was ship okay and it used to take a lot of time that's why people used to travel with their own beddings and other things and that's why they used to hide this pistols and other things into the beds and such places that the britisher won't be able to find madanla dhingra killed william wild officer a british officer who used to criticize the revolutionaries okay and later on he was 
uh, wanted um, by the Britishers. In 1907, the Indian Independence League was established in California, so USA, which was later on named as Gadar Party okay, by Lala Hardial. Lala Hardial was one of the national leaders, revolutionaries were working. He formed a group named Indian Independence League in California. And later on, this was named as Gadar Party. Right? So, we can see that a uh, lot of activities were also carried out in uh, different countries at that time. A weekly name Gadar was published in four languages. Say, Taraknath Das and Kartar Singh too joined this activities. Champakraman Pillai formed a group named Hind Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Dal in Germany. Say, in Germany also this particular group named Hind Rashtra Swayam Sevak Dal. Swayam Sevak means volunteers. Dal means group was formed in Germany. Okay. Plan was made to attack India by making Iraq as the headquarter in 1907. In International Socialist Conference held at Stuttgart, Germany, the national flag prepared by Madame Kama was hoisted for the first time. See? Okay, you will see the photograph of it. Uh, you can see it in the right side, right? So, the first time the Indian national flag okay, was hoisted at Stuttgart, Germany, right, by Madame Bikaji Kama. Raja Mahendra Pratap formed the provisional independent government under the Rashtra Pramukh in Afghanistan, in which Barkatullah, Abidullah, Maulana Bashir, Shamsher Singh. These were some of the leaders who got along with him and he formed a provisional government, a type of temporary government into uh, Iraq, right? See, Dr. Mathur Singh also joined. This government have made efforts to help Russia from Russia, Iran and Turkey to fight against the Britishers. They also met the Turkish chief Anwar Pasha and the governor of that time. Now, why? There will be question into your mind why this all countries were helping the revolutionaries of India because the Britishers were also ruling into this part of the world at the same time uh, they were also uh, you can say uh, hurt by the Britisher during the first world war okay uh, and they were also ruling the Britishers were ruling into this part from you can say so last hundred years the European countries and that's why this people this country started supporting us too the conspiracy Gulab Nama written on Reshmi Rumal asking all Muslims to unite and fight against the Christian was exposed only okay, later on this was a very great chapter into the revolution Raja Mahendra Pratap right, send a golden strip okay, with the signature to the Russian Tsar Tsar, you know about Tsars, right? In which he requested the Tsar to serve all the ties with England. So he asked the Tsar, the king of Russia, to cancel, silver is cancel, cut off all the ties, all the relations with the England. Russian revolutionary Trotsky also helped India in this particular moment. Sohanlal Pathak in Burma and Parmanand in Singapore carried revolutionary activities in the southern side of Asia. In addition to this, the Kamat Gamaru and Toshimaru steamer event provided inspiration to the India. The Kamat Gamaru and Toshimaru incidences provided a great inspiration to the Indian revolutionaries who were living into the foreign countries. Now, what is this two incidences? That is Kamat Gamaru and Toshimaru. Actually, in 1914, the Kamat Gamaru, that is one of the ship actually, it is a Japanese ship in which uh, Indian people were traveling and they were migrating to Canada. Okay, but when they reached there, they were not allowed by the Canadian government. Actually, the Britishers were ruling at that time, so they were not allowed and they were forced go back to Calcutta from where the ship had collected them and due to this there was a riot at that time there was a fighting there was a, a tussle between the 
the people of uh, the ship and the police officers that time and this was known as uh, the Kamad Gamaru incident in which almost 20 people died okay in this 20 people died and uh, that is considered as one of a great dark incidences in the history because this was you can say the first incident where the Britishers had suppressed the Indians on the foreign soil also in this uh, people who died there were Punjabis there were Sikhs there were Muslims there were Hindus or were included and that's why it created a great impact it marked a great impact on the incidents that were supposed to follow that happen in the future okay and uh, due to this again okay, out there were 376 passengers who were on that time and out of that 24 were allowed and 352 were not allowed saying that they were belonging to some or the other reasons right so these are the background of the Kamad Gamaru incident okay say so, it even provided inspiration to Indian revolutionaries staying abroad to fight against the British and due to this the Indians who were living in the foreign countries got a boost to fight against the British and end that supremacy into India the Indian youth in the age group of 18 to 24 were mainly involved in the radical freedom movements as I already told you the age group from 18 to 24 they were young blood and they include they were included into such kind of activities to fight against the Britishers they used to carry out kind of thrill acts say did not fear death okay when they caught they readily embraced death okay they was ready they can kill us we are not ready to suppress against you we'll fight against you we'll kill you even if you kill us so that was the attitude that they followed slogans like in Kalab zindabad and vande matram were used extensively by they used to shout this into the court which was full of the britishers and when they shouted such kind of slogan you can just imagine how the blood would boil um, into those britishers right and many a times uh, they were given punishment of that they were hanged by that or they were shot okay but that did not stop them from fighting for their country and they used to fight for the country and even ready to sacrifice their life see in Kalab Zindabad that one day matram this was the slogan used for the purpose of freedom of their movement their sacrifice would provide inspiration to the freedom of young generation as I told you their their sacrifice still it is considered as one of the valiant uh, activities that was carried out by the Indians against the Britishers so we'll keep till there into this particular video lecture